The cathode building construction at Giga Texas is back in action, and it's 19.6% done. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Yes, really. Well, if you're new here, you're more than welcome to call me crazy, but my trackers have held up extremely well in the past, and the numbers are even more conservative this time around. Quick thanks to new and upgrading Patreon members Mopar Den and James Kennedy. Uh, thank you for choosing to support me. Well, you guys have been asking what's going on, and I've been trying to find the answers. The rumor we heard was that there was a holdup with the permits, which stopped the digging of footings and pouring of concrete. Steel continued being staged and organized around the site, and other prep took place, but it wasn't quite as obvious. The delay ended last week, and crews were back in action, digging dirt like crazy, pouring mad batches of mud, and generally moving at a pace I can only describe as Tesla speed. If you want to see the methodology used, check out the previous video in the series, but the important note for today is that my tracker assumes squares of roughly equal size, and that's proving difficult to verify from the air, so there may be adjustments to the site map down the road. These rough numbers should be, you know, roughly accurate, but you can look at it and decide for yourself. On the last update, which was May 23rd, the only measurable progress for this tracker was that the site prep was 95% done. Well, I've bumped that up to 96% since it appears all work and rework on the grading is complete, though it might not be. The big milestone is the pouring of footings, which have jumped from 0% complete up to a breathtaking 26% done. At this pace, we could expect to see the last footings poured in the next three to four weeks, but even that seems like a bit of an undercount because this assumes that every square will get concrete, and we know that's not going to be the case. This figure could be as low as half of what's actually done. We will soon see which squares will not be getting concrete, and those will be added back in to the count. So let's look at the site map and go through it, as we always do, a week of a week. The orange indicates where footing work has begun, for reference, and these squares labeled with an F indicate a poured footing. They don't count as anything until they're poured and labeled as such. Mad thanks to Jeff Roberts for allowing use of his amazing drone footage. I would say check him out, but I'm sure you all already do. So with all that, it is 19.6% done, with another big jump expected next week based on the progress we can see underway while this footage was being shot. It might be a week or two or even three before steelwork begins, but once it does, it is similarly expected to move very quickly. This is a small building by Tesla standards and a very small building by Giga Texas standards, but it's purpose-built for a single task, cathodes, so this is likely the exact size they think it needs to be. This will not likely be an 18-month project, and many viewers have suggested it could be substantially complete by Christmas, so I'm curious to hear more of your estimates and reasoning in the comments below. Let's see how close we can get. Videos like this take a lot of time to produce. If you find value in what you see, consider offering support on Patreon, where you'll get early access, exclusive content, and a look at my 11-year production prediction, broken down a bunch of different ways. YouTube is the devil, so this support is literally what makes me able to keep going, and I thank all of you for your decision to support the channel. And for everyone else, you know you can subscribe and hit the like and follow me on Twitter at 4K Podcast. Whatever you do, I'm just glad you're here and you made it this far in the video. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me all your thoughts, your comments, your wisdom, your blind and brilliance below. And as always, my friends, I beg you to stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots next week. I guess.